I grew up on the west side of Ann Arbor, Michigan, out in the country on a farm. And we didn't get downtown much, but I'll never forget one day when I was six years old, we were driving downtown Ann Arbor and suddenly traffic came to a stop. We didn't know what was going on and I rolled down the window and was looking out trying to figure out if there was an accident up ahead or what was going on. As we got closer to the source of the traffic jam, we could hear music and my parents could listen and they heard it and they rolled down their window and they said, oh, that's just Shaky Jake. And that was my first introduction to a local celebrity, a local musician named Shaky Jake. Shaky Jake was a very popular and very well-known street musician. He was a celebrity and he had CDs made in his name. There are t-shirts with Shaky Jake's brand on it. There are bumper stickers that said, I break for Jake. Uh, you could go to local restaurants and there are meals named after him. Uh, Shaky Jake was the inspiration for a sketch character named Calhoun Tubbs, who was portrayed by David Allen Greer in the television series, In Living Color. He was the special guest for blues and jazz festivals. In fact, Shaky Jake was rumored to have opened for famous musicians such as Diana Ross. Now, whatever you're picturing of the kind of musician Shaky Jake was, it's probably the opposite of what is true. Because Shaky Jake was one of the worst musicians I've ever heard. He couldn't sing, he couldn't play, and he definitely couldn't do the two of those together. He was horrible. So you have to ask, why was such a horrible musician so popular? And the answer is, is because he had a celebrity image. Shaky Jake had managed to build his celebrity brand over a period of years. And he was the, a celebrity. He was the go-to person for opening for festivals and different things. In your area, the advisor who has the best image is the one that's meeting with the most people and making the most money. You have to separate yourself in a sea of sameness to be the best advisor out there, or to at least have the image of being the best advisor out there. And there's lots of ways to do that, but one, by, uh, one way of doing that and having that celebrity image is by getting on TV. To be able to say you've been featured on a nationally known TV station such as NBC is an excellent way to separate yourself from your competition. Imagine being able to put on your email signature or on your website or on your seminar invitation or radio opening or on the wall behind your desk when you're meeting with people as seen on ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. That would be an excellent way to separate yourself from your competition. And it's not as hard as you might think. In fact, your FMO probably already has a program in place to get yourself on TV. All you got to do is sign up with them. If you're part of Tucker Financial Group, we have a TV show that airs quarterly on NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox, and we'd love to have you as a special guest. All you have to do is reach out to your marketing developer and we'll get you scheduled. If you have any questions on this or if we can help you in any other way, please let us know because you may be independent, but with Tucker Financial Group, you're never alone.